dear students now we are going to discuss carrier to noise ratio and combined uplink and downlink cn ratio let's start with the definition of carrier to noise ratio it is also called as cnr it is defined as the ratio of carrier power to the noise power at the satellite receiver input so here we are going to consider satellite receiver input side so there is a satellite so we are going to transmit the signal from earth station to the satellite so here whenever the signal is received at this satellite receiver side so we can consider this is having two important signals one is the received signal along with its noise signal so so here we can take the ratio carrier power to noise power as c by n is equal to pr by pn so this is called as carrier to noise ratio this is the general definition okay so this carrier to noise ratio it's mainly used to measure the performance of the satellite link and also to determine the link power budget calculations okay so in terms of decibels we can take this ratio as pr minus pn so this square bracket represents the value is in decibels okay so c by n is equal to pr minus pn consider this as the first equation so here pr is nothing but the received power at the satellite input side so it has earp plus gr minus losses so it can be represented like this the received power is equal to earp that is equivalent isotropic radiated power that is transmitted power multiplied with the antenna gain okay the receiving antenna gain at the satellite divided by losses okay so that is represented in terms of decibels like this so next one is noise power this noise power mainly depends on the system temperature and also the noise bandwidth so here k is the boltzmann constant so here in normal term we can represent the noise power is equal to k into ts into bn okay so in the next step we are going to substitute these two values in this first equation then we can get the carrier to noise power ratio is equal to so here pr can be replaced with earp plus gr minus losses so minus of this noise power so we can get the value like this so this is the second equation so in this one we can consider these two values that is receiving antenna gain at the satellite input side and also this system noise temperature okay so gr minus ts what does it mean gr minus ts in terms of decibels so it can be considered as g by t in a normal term okay so, so it is the ratio of receiving antenna gain and the system noise temperature so here we can take this two terms together as g by t so the second equation can be written as c by n is equal to earp plus g by t minus losses minus k minus bn consider this as the third equation okay so next in general we represent the carrier to noise ratio as c by n okay so this is nothing but the noise power but practical considerations we have to take the noise power density so it can be represented as pr by n not rc by n not do you all understand this one this c by n not can be represented as c by n plus bn bn means noise bandwidth so we are going to substitute this value in the third equation so this can be written as c by n not is equal to c by n value is what earp plus g by t minus losses minus k minus bn plus this bn so this two 
cancel. Then we can get C by N naught is equal to EIRP plus G by T minus losses minus K. So this is the expression for carrier to noise power density. Do you all understand this concept? So it is very very important equation in this satellite link analysis. So next we are going to discuss the combined uplink and downlink C by N ratio. So here we can consider both uplink and downlink. So this is the earth station. From this earth station we can transmit the signal through this transmitting antenna. So here we are going to consider the carrier to noise ratio at the receiver input side of the satellite. Whenever the satellite is going to receive the signal from earth station, it is going to receive both the noise power and also the received power. So here PRU is nothing but uplink average carrier received power. So PNU is nothing but the noise introduced in this uplink process. So here we can get PRU and PNU together as a received input to the satellite. So here satellite is having some amplifiers to amplify the signal. So here we can have the term gamma. So this gamma is nothing but the system power gain. Okay, so this is the system power gain from the satellite input to the earth station. So here we can have different amplifier stages. So all the amplification factors together consider as gamma. Okay, so here at this receiving point in the earth station, so we can have two signals, one is PND, another one is the received power at the earth station. Here it can be represented as PR plus gamma PNU. So this gamma PNU is nothing but whatever the noise power received from this uplink process along with this gamma value. Okay, so this system can be represented using this power flow diagram. So this is the satellite receiver input side. At this point we can have two signals. One is the uplink carrier power. Another one is the noise power due to the uplink process. So it can be amplified using the system gain factor gamma. At the end of this link that is at the receiver side of the earth station we can have two values. One is gamma PNU along with this PND. Okay. So that is the overall noise power plus the received power for this downlink process. Do you all understand this one? So here we can have the actual received power multiplied with this gamma but the noise we can have the downlink noise along with the uplink noise. Okay. But the uplink noise is multiplied with this system gain factor gamma. So these two values are very important one to find out the combined uplink and downlink ratio. So let's start with uplink C by N naught ratio. So in this one at the satellite receiver input side. So at this point carrier power this is the noise power we can directly take the ratio the carrier power to the noise power. This is the uplink carrier to noise power ratio. Okay next downlink carrier to noise ratio. So here we can consider only the downlink process. Here PR is the received carrier power for the downlink. This PR is nothing but what? So here it is this the uplink end that is the receiver input of the satellite. Here we can have two inputs. One is carrier power that is PRU. Okay so PR means received power at the satellite input for the uplink process. So it is amplified using this amplifiers with the gain gamma. Okay, so then at this end of the link we can get the received power as gamma times this uplink power. Correct? So similarly here we can have the noise for this uplink process and here also we can have the noise due to the downlink process. But here this noise is also amplified with this gamma 
then we can get the value the overall noise at this end of the satellite link is equal to this gamma p n u plus this p n d that is downlink noise you will understand this one so here we can have the received carrier power for the downlink at the end of the satellite link as gamma p r u that, that is gamma times the carrier power input at the satellite so here the gamma is nothing but system power gain from satellite to earth station in the downlink process so it may include the transponder antenna gain downlink losses and feeder losses so in this one the downlink noise power is pnd alone so due to this downlink process the carrier to noise ratio can be represented as c by nrd is equal to pr divided by the noise due to the downlink process pnd so this is only for the downlink process okay so next we are going to find out the combined c by nr ratio so combined means here we have to include the overall noise at the receiver side okay so here we have to consider the overall noise at the end of the link okay so here this overall noise is equal to what gamma times the uplink noise plus the downlink noise okay so here we can get the combined c by nr ratio on the whole is equal to what is that value here it is nothing but the received power divided by pn the overall noise correct but here the carrier power is always common correct so only the noise values can be varied okay so for that we have to take the reciprocal of this term so for our convenience we can take the reciprocal of this term okay because the carrier power is common okay so it's almost equal for uplink and downlink only the noise values can be varied okay so if you are going to keep the common value in the denominator we can simply add only the numerators right so for more convenience we can take the reciprocal of carrier to noise ratio so here the combined noise to carrier ratio is given as n not by c is equal to pn by pr this is for overall link okay so in this one pn is what pn is nothing but gamma times the uplink noise plus downlink noise okay next step we can simply replace the noise power as gamma pnu plus pnd divided by the received power so here this power is common for both the term we can write like this so gamma pnu by pr plus pnd by pr for this uplink we can consider this pr is nothing but what gamma times the uplink carrier power so here we can replace this pr as gamma times the uplink carrier power so here gamma gamma both can be cancelled we can get pnu by pru what is that value it is nothing but the noise to carrier ratio for uplink process okay so similarly here we can get it is only for downlink so on the whole we can get the combined uplink and downlink carrier to noise ratio as n not by c is equal to n not by c uplink plus n not by c for downlink so do you all understand why do we use this noise to carrier so from this you can simply see this so here the c is common means we can simply add all the noises on the numerator correct so from this we can get the combined carrier to noise ratio by taking the reciprocal of this n not by c